today we're going to go through and do a little bit of polish on a previous video that I did where I merged the survival game kit and the advanced locomotion system. And this is going to clean up some of the things with just the interactions that that are probably not as expected, uh, maybe holding weapons and how you interact with those weapons. And so I think I've gone through and gotten together a very clean looking version of the of the project. So I just want to step you through those really quick so you can do the same thing on yours. You will need to have completed up to this point what we did in the previous video. If you're watching this and haven't done the previous uh, video, you won't have the files in the same way uh, that I have the files. So you'll need to complete that previous tutorial and then come back and complete this one. So to start, let's go ahead and open up the project. And this should be the project that has the advanced locomotion and survival game kit. And go ahead and if you haven't hit this tab to show the source panels, uh, go ahead and click that just so you can see the folders. And that way you can move around in a similar manner to the IM. Let's go ahead and hit play and kind of see this current state of the system and see what I've noticed uh, that I wanted to change. So first, let's go ahead and run over and pick up a weapon. All right, when we switch to this weapon, you'll notice that the feet don't quite look right. Um, I can show you this by, if I hit pause and then eject, I can actually pull away from the character and you can see uh, this, this isn't what I, what I want. Uh, first of all, he has that neutral stance. He's a square foot. And so it's just not quite looking correct. Let's go ahead and repossess and then I'm going to unpause it. So hit the pause button. Now let's go ahead and crouch. You'll notice one thing there. You see how his arm goes down and does kind of a weird move when he crouches? We'll be fixing that as well today. Uh, and then let's, let's pause here one more time. Eject. And then let's take a look at his feet. Now that's not, that's not a normal way that you would see someone's legs moving. If their knee's doing that, they've got some problems. So uh, we're going to fix that. Go ahead and unpause this. And then we're just going to get the general, pretty much everything to where you're running around. This, uh, you'll notice the speed here right now is very inconsistent uh, because it's setting the speed in the survival game kit and it's setting the speed in the uh, advanced locomotion system. So let's go ahead and get started on this. To start, uh, we'll want to go to content. Expand Advanced Locomotion V3, go to Blueprints, and then open up the ALS base character. All right, and in here, we'll want to start out, go ahead and double click Event Graph on the, on the left hand side. And uh, I'm going to kind of give you a shortcut to find where we're going to go. In the search below where it says Find Results, I want you to type Set Space RF. You should have a result there that says set RF BPI. Go ahead and double click that. And this is a section that actually switches back and forth between left foot forward and right foot forward. I don't want to have just because it kind of creates double the work and it doesn't look right. Uh, if you wanted to do this, you could incorporate some more features into it and, and keep the right foot forward. But what I'm going to do is delete the E because whenever I interact, for instance, when I picked up the weapon, it is actually switching to the to the right foot and then if i hit it again and then it would switch back to the left foot and uh i, I don't want that to be there like that so let's go ahead and do that so that it always stays left foot forward when we want it to and then go ahead and zoom out a little bit so if you're looking for that place you weren't able to find it with search it's at the very very bottom so uh, that should be the way that you can find it now, we need to go through and actually change how some of the speeds are set. Uh, and this is something that is causing the, the speeds of the two characters to, to kind of jump around a little bit. So we're going to have to actually go to our Anim BP. So if you go back to Showcase or whatever folder, it should be Showcase if you're in this map, uh, and then go to Characters under Advanced Locomotion V3, go to Mannequin, and then let's open up the mannequin and a BP.
Now in here, uh, let's make sure we're on the event graph. So if you're not, double click the event graph on the left. And let's take a quick look at what's going on. Uh, here, the sequence is actually splitting, splitting down the things that were being loaded by the survival game kit. One thing that's being set here that we don't want set is the speed. So what I want to do is select the box that has it's the second box from is owner valid. Drag that get pawn speed up and just away from it. From that is valid, drag it over to the set is in air. So it should connect directly. And then you can go ahead and right click on that speed on the right side of it and hit break link to set is in air. Okay, so that's all by itself now. Then what you want to do is just kind of go and drag that box to the left. We'll keep it all together. And the next one, the pawn direction. We don't want that because we're already setting the direction and everything with ALS. So go ahead and drag that up. Select all of this and, and we'll bring this over next to the is and air. And then connect those two from is and air to is valid. And then you can right click on the right side of direction and break that link. So now uh, the direction and the speed are not going to be set by uh, by this code and and that the rest of that is fine but at the very end of that line there's one that says set character variables go ahead and open that up and then one thing we want to do is there's some things being set here that we don't need set or uh from survival game kit so go ahead and if you zoom out there's a sequence that right now has four items on it I want you to right click the last one where it says then three and break links to the reroute node for that. So that way it'll just, it's still there. If for some reason you want to reincorporate that in there for any reason, uh, but it's just not going to execute it. And so go ahead and zoom out. You can see now it just doesn't have a line going there. Uh, from that line that is still connected, then line two, go up to the right of set held item. And you'll see a box called is character holding item and below that clear item variables. Well, we're going to need to add something after this. What I want you to do is to zoom out, select all of it up to the cast a master weapon box, and then drag it to the right about that much. Um, we're just going to, we're going to put one item there and it doesn't need a huge amount of room, but what we'll need to do this is you see where it says ALS base character that's connecting eventually to the holding item. I want you to either right click that and hit copy or control C. And then I want you to drag off of that because we're gonna set for whenever it's holding an item. So whenever the character is holding an item, we're going to want to now drag off set ALS aiming event. So choose the top one, not the multicast or the server. And then left or con control click the uh, so left click when you hold down control where it says the right side of the set and drag that to the right side of the set ALS aiming event and then go go and connect those two again. So now it's going between those. I want you to copy the two events so the event and the ALS based character piece. I want you to paste it right below and then we want to connect that bottom row as well, but the top one needs to have the checkbox. So the top one will have a checkbox checked, the bottom will not. And so when you're not holding an item, it's not gonna be in the, that left foot forward stance. When you are holding an item, it's automatically gonna be in that left foot forward stance. So I'll go ahead and compile and save that. All right, so now um, let's go ahead and take a look and see what's going on with the character. I'm gonna compile and save. Okay, so character standing normally. You see that the speeds are much better now. It's not, it's not really inconsistent with the speeds now. Pick up a gun. Okay, the legs are still crazy. That's expected. We haven't fixed that yet. But he is in left foot forward. It's just hard to see with those legs so far. So we will, uh, we'll straighten that out now. 
So first, let's uh, let's go ahead and in the Anim BP, so the mannequin Anim BP. I want you to search for something. I want you to search for Anim Notify, and then do underscore LF. So Anim Notify underscore LF, and then you'll see an underscore two underscore CLF that's there. Double click that, and these are going to be the transitions of when you go from crouching to standing or from standing to crouching. Uh, it will always be the left foot because whenever you are holding a weapon, uh, that's when it matters. We don't care so much when it's not. And so I want you to right click on the, the pin there and break link to that. And then on the second one as well, break those two links. And these are under the anim notify underscore CLF to LF and LF to CLF. So that will make it so it doesn't lower the gun. Uh, for that second when you're crouching up and down. Now, go back to your ALS-based character, and there's one setting I want to check just to kind of smooth out the camera a little bit. So in the ALS underscore base character, scroll down until you see TP camera boom. So that's the third person camera boom. Click it, and on the right-hand side, if you scroll down just a little bit, depending on your screen size, you'll see enable, ca enable camera lag. I want you to check that. That'll kind of smooth out the movement of the camera a little bit. You can compile and save that. And then we're going to have to go into uh, the mannequin and a BP a little bit and fix some things. One, there's one mistake that I made that I don't, you may not have made the same mistake, but let's go to the anim graph on the left side. And then scroll into the top left, you'll see main state machine. Double click that. Go to locomotion. Click locomotion, go to moving. And then if you look from the overall picture here towards the bottom to the left of the holding item for crouching, there's a layered blend per bone. And if we expand this out, for some reason I didn't fill it out. I probably told you to, but I don't think I typed it. So just in case you were following very closely to what I was doing on screen, I want to have you fill this in now. So it's spine underscore O1. We'll do a blend of one and then check the box, compile and save. Okay, so that should correct that issue. Uh, the top one should be correct. Um, you could change that to a one if you want for blend depth. That's how many bones it affects uh, doing the blend. Um, but that's that's fine. Um, we'll try that with being three. And then now we need to go into some places where it's actually determined by holding the weapon. Um, you know, are you the left foot forward? And we're going to make it make it so that it's always holding the weapon up or it's holding the weapon correctly no matter what stance you're in. Uh, so let's go ahead and in this locomotion. So on the top, if you see locomotion there, go and click it. It'll be the one after locomotion state. If you need to, you can go back to the anim graph, double click the main state machine, double click locomotion, double click locomotion again, and then you should be where you see not moving, pivot, moving, all of those. So let's go ahead and go to first, uh, let's go to not moving, and then open up not moving state machine. And let's just double check all of these because I want to make sure that you have the same ones. Now, we're not going to be using the right foot because we pretty much have disabled right foot. It's not using that at all. Um, you should have some things filled in for when the nor in the normal stance. So this N under under underscore idle, we put some things in there. Um, it, in case, what, there's one thing I would probably add here just to be safe uh, because generally, You'll never reach this when you're holding an item, but let's say you change code in the future and you want this to always work. And you're kind of worried that, you know, maybe you do want something to be held and you give an exception for holding an item um, that you want to maybe do a special animation sequence for. Let's go and drag this out. So from Glenn poses, poses by Bool to the left for aimed, drag that out a little bit. And then I want you to copy that idle character animation and play animation sequence. I want to control C on that or right click and hit copy. And then paste it above. 
So paste it just above that aimed, somewhat like this, and then drag off of that. And then we want to do a layered blend per bone. Okay. And we've been doing a number of these, but we want a layered blend per bone. Go ahead and drag from that bool to the left side of that blend uh, poses to zero. And then from the right side, go ahead and drag it over to that other bool. Uh, now we're going to need to click it and hit plus under the branch filters. So plus, expand the, where it says zero. Go ahead and type spine underscore O1 there. Put a blend of one and check the uh, mesh space rotation. Okay. And now you'll want to go back one. So whatever you can see the upper right, you can probably click that. Um, but you'll want to get back to this screen where you see N underscore idle. Let's double check the L left foot idle. Okay. That is missing that blend as well. So we want to select everything left of the aimed bool. And then we want to copy the uh, link, the variable, and the play animation sequence. Go ahead and paste that. And then drag off of that. And then type layered blend per bone. Let's connect those in a similar way that we just did the last one. And then go ahead and select it. And then hit the plus by branch filters. Expand the zero. Type spine underscore 01. One for blend depth, depth, and then check the box. All right, go ahead and click the upper right again. Let's do crouching left foot idle. Let's do the exact same thing for that. So we want to go through and drag from aimed bool over to the left. And then we want to copy that variable and the play animation sequence one more time. Drag to the right from the animation sequence. Layered blend per bone. Connect those two once again. Go ahead and select it. We'll branch filters. Expand the zero. And then spine underscore 01. Blend depth of one and check the box. Okay, now that should take care of all of those. All right, so let's go ahead back to uh, the showcase. Let's hit play. Let's see, see what's going on so far. All right, I'm gonna equip the weapon. You notice the feet are now working again, as intended. Same thing with crouch. But one thing that is doing kind of a strange thing is when you stop, you see how the arm goes forward. That's not as intended. So let's go and go back to the mannequin and MVP. And what we want to do is go to the anim graph, go back to the main state machine, go to locomotion, then locomotion again. And then let's look to the right where there's the left foot stop and there's the crouching left foot stop. We have, first of all, the neutral stop and that is, that's set up correctly. So we're fine with that. But in locomotion, we need to, first let's check the left foot stop. Okay, that looks correct. It's got the layered blend per bone. Okay, go ahead and go back to locomotion. Now let's check the crouching. Ah, so the crouching is, is, we never did the crouching one. So what we want to do is to get this code, let's go ahead and go back to the file listing under showcase. And then let's go down to the survival game kit, animations, animation blueprints, and then open up the third person anim. And then what we we'll want to do is go ahead and go to the anim graph. Scroll in, you'll see locomotion. And what we we'll want to do is make sure that we're using uh, the movement one. I've, I've tested between 
the idle version and the moving version and the moving version works better. So let's go and do crouch walk. And I want you to highlight all of everything left of the output animation pose and hit control C or right click and copy. And then go back to the mannequin and MVP and go ahead and scroll out. All right, so control V or right click, or actually you'll have to control V that to paste it. And then what we want to do is drag up the output animation pose, go ahead and connect that to the right of the blend poses by bool of holding item. And then you'll see here a blend player that's connected to the, uh, the false of holding item. Go ahead and select all that and delete it. And then we'll have play ALS underscore CLF stop. You want to drag that into the false pose. Now we're going to have to add a blend in here correctly. And so select everything that's to the left of the true on the holding item and, and drag that over a little bit. And then we want to make a copy of play ALS CLF stop. Paste that above that second bowl and then drag it down. And we want to type layered blend per bone again. Go ahead and connect the right side of aimed uh, the bool and then right, connect the right side of that layer to true. Uh, then we want to make sure we select the layered blend per bone, hit the plus by branch filters, and then expand the zero and type spine underscore 01. Blend depth of one, mess space rotation. Go ahead and hit compile and save. Play this. Okay. Let me crouching. All right. Well, let's open this in a little bit bigger version so you can see the whole screen. All right, let's go and uh, take a look over all the functionality. I'm going to pick up a gun, pick up some ammo. All right, seems to be Seems to be moving around correctly. So, so far all the leg movements are correct. And I think that, uh, I think that we're good. So this should be about the point that you're hoping to get it to. I think uh, from here, of course, there's always polish you can do. Um, and there are things that if you want to, you can uh, you can add to this, but I think this is once again a good starting point. This is a good place where you should have correct uh, leg movements for the most part. Crouching will work. It holds the gun up. It doesn't drop the gun up and down, as, uh, especially you know, like as you turn in place. Crouch down. Uh, I think this is uh, I think this is working pretty well. And now, you know, we already fixed the damage so you should take fall damage still so i think this is pretty close you can use all the crafting benches i think everything will work from here on out so uh, if you found this helpful don't forget to like and subscribe leave a message in the comments i'll have a link to our discord which i encourage you to join it's a good place to hang out and talk and discuss and if you have any issues post it in there and people will help you and uh, of course let people know about the channel let people know about the discord and I look forward to seeing you guys later.